Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Duns and Dragons, and I want to talk about Big Bang, Young Sheldon, and Georgie and Mandy, the new sequel series. All right, so let's get into this. So first of all, uh, I, we are in 2024. This is the 50th celebration. This is the Golden Dragon celebration, and the Golden Dragon is now a special representation of the 50th celebration, and the 50th celebration is truly profoundly epic right like and really 2024 nobody expected this 2023 was 23 23 was an explosion of flames there was scandal everywhere and what we didn't realize was what was happening is that in that the that the first 50 years of Dungeons and dragons would serve as a launching pad for Dungeons and dragons second 50 years and we, we accomplished a huge amount of things, really important things in the first 50 years of Dungeons and Dragons. But the second year, 50 years of Dungeons and Dragons is gonna be like incredibly epic. The Grognards are gonna be dying off, right? They're just, they're so old now. They're, you know, they're old complainers. It's literally what the word means. And we're about to see Dungeons and Dragons kind of freed from their, from their tyranny. And I think there really was a tyranny of the Grognards complaining and disliking progressiveness and disliking everything that was awesome about Dungeons and Dragons now, right? And saying, please, please, please take us, let's regress. Let's go back to D&D &D 1984. And I think we finally reached a point where 2023 was the OSR and the Indy just getting all their bile out for Dungeons and Dragons. And the whole world was like, you know what, OSR and Indy, we don't care about you guys. We care about Dungeons and Dragons. You guys have had 50 years to put something up. You've done nothing. Uh, maybe Kelsey Dion's $1 million Kickstarter is interesting, but like overall, you, you know, you guys really have done nothing but complain and have not really done any real innovation and not have really have made anything significant. And Dungeons and Dragons, five years after it was created on February 7th, 50, five decades after it was created on February 7th, 1974, we're here and you guys are, you don't matter anymore. And that's, that's what 2024 is is like kind of a re a new understanding that there really is no tabletop role playing industry there is Dungeons and Dragons and then there there is a farm league the OSR and the Indies are now a farm league right and none of their stuff is considered real you know real baseball real football real basketball it's literally a farm league you guys do your thing over here right and every now and then we'll pick one of you and make you part of D&D &D beyond official D&D &D canon right so that's the best way to understand the osr and the indie now is it's just a farm league for for what really is the tabletop role-playing game industry which is nothing but Dungeons and dragons right and in a farm league that feeds it that feeds it its best right and right now you should go on dnd beyond and what you find on dnd beyond that's sean merwin that's matthew Colverl, that's james intracasso that's the humble hole the humblewood guys that's the best in the industry right? And nobody else matters. That's, that's where we've landed, right? So, and because of that, that means Dungeons and Dragons has no peer in the realm. They don't have any real competitors in tabletop role-playing games. Their competitors are the video game industry and the board game industry. And Dungeons and Dragons is not beating them right now, but they need to, right? So let's talk about picking winners, right? And when you see a winner emerge, so right now, if you're not aware, there's a huge battle in streaming, okay? And basically, every two to three to five years, one of these shows um, ends a incredibly lucrative license and then sells to a new streamer for billions of dollars, right? Uh, for, for some fraction of a billion dollars or over a billion dollars, right? And that list of shows is extremely short. Let's talk it through. It is Big Bang Theory. It is Seinfeld. It is um, Friends, and it is, um, there's one more in there, Seinfeld, oh, The Office, The Office. There's four shows, right? And previously there was kind of like, oh, who's winning? Who's the, who's the big dog, right? Well, first of all, Unfrosted, I think I'm the only person in the world who liked that, and everybody's like, oh, Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld doesn't matter anymore. So I think Seinfeld's falling off that list short, you know, it's, it's an incredibly valuable show and it will continue to be incredible. But when it comes to the cream of the crop, it's not a winner anymore, right? So then the uh, the office, we're gonna hold off on talking about them. Then um, it is uh, Friends. Friends actually has done extremely well, but here's why Friends is not gonna be the winner. And here, now we have a winner. Who is the winner? It's Big Bang Theory, right? 
So if you want a nice, comfortable show that you're gonna enjoy, you watch Big Bang Theory, right? And the reason why is, as soon as you're done, you could hop right over to um, uh, to Young Sheldon. And the reason why was those, those, those um, show creators, they were like, hey, we wanna do something special for you. We're gonna immediately give you new content of what you want, right? And now that's finishing and they have a, before the show even finished, before the seventh season, so there's nine seasons of Big Bang, seven seasons of Young Sheldon, they're like, Just chill, we got you covered, right? We are ending Sheldon, but we're gonna give you Georgie and Mandy, another series, which is gonna be banger as well, right? And so Georgie and Mandy says, and what this means is you move or you die, right? And and get this, all the friends people, they all, they all collected their checks. Nobody cares about them now, right? Like, you know, Phoebe and Joey and Chandler and Chandler literally passed, right? Like, so like nobody can even care for him now, right? Like he's not here to be cared for, right? Or cared about, right? Like, and so he, you know, so basically we are getting, and so, so Seinfeld, no, nothing new, right? Um, and then friends, nothing new. There's no new content, right? So it dies. These are, so they, they lose. You lose, sir, you lose. That's the important part, right? And so, and this is why D&D is crushing it, right? Brand new D&D Cannon hardback every three months, right? Brand new exciting news every week, maybe even every day, right? D&D understands momentum. They understand this powerful truth. If you, if you stop, you die. You move or you die right and that's and that's the issue that's why big bang theory is now the winner of the cream of crop among streaming and why the streaming wars for the number one most valuable show in the world is over it is big bang it is finished right and georgie and mandy i'm very excited for the show i think it's going to be excellent um the both the actors are fantastic they crushed it in, in young sheldon and i'm really excited to see what they do with this and young sheldon has been better than big bang it is phenomenal. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider like subscribing and have a fetch millennial.